the sleeping giant awakens, Krasheninikov's eruption. After 600 years for six centuries, it slept beneath the snow-covered wilderness of Kamchatka. A volcano so long dormant, it was little more than a name on a geologist's map, a shadow of fire buried beneath ice and time. But on August 3, 2025, just before dawn, Krasheninikov roared back to life, cold winds howling over Kamchatka, the Kamchatka Peninsula, remote, untamed, and unarmed. This is one of the most volcanically active regions on Earth, home to over 300 volcanoes, many of them slumbering, until they aren't. Nestled deep in the peninsula's spine lay Krasheninikov, a twin-peaked stratovolcano that had last erupted sometime around the year 1460. In the centuries since, forests grew over its flanks. Snow filled its craters. Locals called it dead. It wasn't. Tension builds with low rumbles and seismograph blips. In late July 2025, the Earth began to tremble. A massive 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake struck near the Kuril Islands, sending ripples through the crust of eastern Russia. The quake was powerful enough to be felt across the Pacific Rim, but it was what it woke that stunned the world. Just days later, deep below Krasheninikov, magma surged. Centuries of pressure suddenly found a way out. At 4.12 a.m. local time, satellites detected a violent explosion. A column of ash burst into the atmosphere, rising more than 6,000 meters, nearly 20,000 feet above the crater. For the first time in 600 years, Krasheninikov erupted. From orbit, the ash plume looked like a dagger slashing through the atmosphere. Local air traffic was halted. Volcanic aviation alerts were raised to code red. The Kamchatka skies, once quiet, were now choked with volcanic smoke. In nearby villages, there was no panic. No lava streamed into towns. But the message was clear, the earth had shifted. Scientists scrambled to analyze the eruption. The quake, they believed, had acted like a key unlocking the ancient vault of pressure buried beneath the volcano. It wasn't the only sleeping giant in the region, but it had now become the loudest. This eruption may pass without tragedy, but it is a warning. A volcano dormant for 600 years does not simply erupt and return to sleep. The land is shifting. Pressure is building. The Earth is not done yet. Krasheninikov has awakened. The question now is, what comes next? Remember to like and subscribe for my entertaining fun content.